Hey y'all, welcome to Cute Apron Cooking. My name is Rachel and thanks so much for stopping by. As January comes to a close, I cannot believe how fast this month has like flown by. And so for our very last episode of this month, we're gonna be making Cajun fish tacos. So let's go ahead and get started. The apron I'm wearing today was a Christmas gift from Thomas and I absolutely love it. it. I love the cute little ruffles at the bottom. It's super cute. For today's recipe, we're gonna need green onion, cilantro, oil, Cajun seasoning, sugar, broccoli slaw, lime juice, garlic, tilapia, some more of the Cajun seasoning, tortillas, avocado, and some radishes. We're gonna start with the slaw, so we're just gonna put all of the ingredients together, mix that, and then set it in the fridge to chill until we're ready to put the tacos together. Okay, so just a little tip for anyone that's never used like a handheld juicer. You would think, if you've never used one, you would kind of think to set your lime in like this, okay? And then like juice it like that. That's how I thought in the beginning when I first bought this because I couldn't figure out how to use it. And I was actually watching a cooking video like a little bit after I bought this. And you're supposed to put the lime in like this. And then this part squishes all the juice out of it. So hopefully that tip is helpful if you've never used one of these. For the tilapia, I'm going to be using a grill pan just to get the nice grill marks on it. If you don't have a grill pan, that's completely fine. You can use any pan that you like. We'll uh, go ahead and heat this pan on medium for about five minutes and then drizzle just a little bit of oil in it. While that pan is heating, we're gonna take our Cajun seasoning and sprinkle a little bit on both sides of the tilapia. Before you season the fish, you want to go ahead and pat it dry with a paper towel so it's not super wet. We'll let these cook for about four minutes on each side until they're white and flaky. I see a lot of people doing grill videos with the Weber kettle, but this Weber seasoning is about as close as I'm ever going to get to having one of those grills, so hopefully it'll taste super good. It's the uh, New Orleans Cajun seasoning. It smells really nice. Once the fillets are done, just flake these in to bite-sized pieces so they'll fit on the taco better. While we're waiting for the fish to cook, we're gonna work on some garnish for the tacos. The first part we're gonna work on is the radish slivers. What you'll do is just rinse this off and then cut the root off and then we're going to use a mandolin to slice them like paper thin. If you don't have a mandolin that's fine you can actually use a vegetable pillar to get some really thin slivers or if you don't want to do the whole piece you can use a box grater and have like grated radishes on top it's just to add a little extra crunch and a little bit of color so it doesn't really matter how you prepare it next we're going to be working on the avocado
When I was at the store picking out the tortillas for the tacos, I came across these adorable little street taco tortilla shells and I had to get them. We're ready to go ahead and put the tacos together. For the tortillas, you can just place however many you need in the microwave, cover them with a paper towel, and then microwave them for 30 seconds and then they'll be ready to serve. The radishes I was using, they were a little bit too big, so after I sliced them, I cut them in half so they looked a little bit better with the smaller tacos. Before we taste the tacos, I wanted to show you a couple of towels that Kay bought me today. They're super cute. This one says, don't flip out. What's shaking? And this one is, I'm sorry for what I said when I was hungry. Just beat it. So it's taste time now, and Brooke is here helping me record and tasting. Hello. So go ahead and grab one. These look super good. They do. I'm very excited about the fish because I love seafood. Okay, so these are really good. I, I like them a lot. I like the heat from the Cajun seasoning, the taste of the cilantro, and the lime. The crunchiness of the slaw goes really well with the creaminess of the avocado. So these are definitely delicious. What do you think? Right. I definitely can taste the slaw in comparison to the avocado. Um, and I appreciate that because I'm not really a big avocado fan. And I like that it's still crunchy enough to where it doesn't feel like I'm just eating baby food. Um, but it's really good. I would recommend it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Hope, Hope you, you have a good, a good day. day. <laughs> Bye.